Hello everyone and welcome to another beta update for Project Skyring. As, uh, as has been the case for the past couple of weeks, I'm still down with something, so apologies if my voice sounds a little nasally or I need to clear my throat or something. Hopefully this situation will get resolved eventually. It would be nice to not be sick. But uh, jumping over to the desktop and where we're at with the game right now, we just finished beta episode number 10 right now. Uh, we did solve the main problem uh, that we've had for a long time, which is if you go into an area on the grid and come back out and go back in, it destroys the island before it actually is able to save it, which causes some problems, especially if there's a monolith on that island, because then you can't progress through the game. We did solve that problem, at least. Uh, there's still uh, one issue kind of an, as an offshoot of that, uh, after fixing it, we do have the island being recreated, but we haven't reset the monolith flag, so we do need to do that before the, the bug is actually fixed entirely, which is what this task is. Uh, but once that's done, the game is pretty much ready to go. Uh, the other thing is, I did add something new. Let me show this to you. Go in and play it. Brushed up the menus, uh, the text, the menus. Instead of the ocean background, I now use screenshots, but that screenshot system is causing a little bit of a problem, which I think I'm going to have to come up with a different solution for. But you'll see that once the game starts here. Assuming it does. There we go. Uh, don't mind the debug screen. That's just the, That happens to be the last screenshot it took. Uh, but... It basically, it takes screenshots of your game as you're playing it, as long as you're close to kind of a hex tile somewhere. The problem is, GameMaker's screenshot function kind of freezes things for a second, and that's not good, so I do want to get rid of that. I think what I'm going to do is just take screenshots on my own that are kind of representative of the different areas, and just kind of go through those as you progress through the game, rather than taking screenshots of your game in progress. I think it'll work out better. It'll, it'll get the atmosphere across. By the way, don't mind the, uh, the screaming kid. That's just kind of uh, the norm at the Blue Tengu household now. He's always screaming. <laughs> that's, that's the nice thing about having a kid. Uh, he's being taken care of, so don't worry. Uh, but yeah, the menu's been kind of brushed up. It looks a little fancier now. Still not entirely sure if this is what I'll go with, whether I'll change this font to something closer to this, or keep it as it is, you know, things like that. Still uh, kind of thinking about it, but right now, uh, the issue that exists is that when you go into an area and you back in and out and in and out, it kind of destroys things, recreates things, destroys things, and in that process things can get kind of screwed up. I think for the most part I fixed the bug, it's just that monolith issue that's remaining. Things seem to be working out mostly as expected. So yeah, I think, I think we're pretty much good. Looks like everything's okay. Let's go ahead and head north. Into the snowy area and see what this is like. I'll show you the problem if I can recreate it here. So what I need to do is go to a grid area that has a monolith tile and go in and out really quick. And that should cause problems. I'm not entirely sure exactly which one that is, so let's keep kind of doing this. See if that causes the problem. The yellow line kind of points to the, the monolith where it should be. Uh, in this case, it didn't actually happen. I probably didn't whip in and out of it fast enough. It worked out. But if the timing is just right, you can end up in a situation where it doesn't create these monoliths, which I'll show you here. And these are what you need to progress through the game, so I uh, definitely need to fix that problem. Oh, there we go. We're in a good place, graphics are fine, menu's looking okay, uh, it's taking screenshots. We're, we're in a good place, we're in a good place. I think we're, we're pretty much ready to wrap up the project. Just need to fix a few more graphical things, create like logos, things like that. Also, uh, one to three gas, uh, probably the sprites will be coming in a couple of weeks and stuff like that, so we'll just keep brushing up the game in the meantime. Things are going well, we'll keep doing the beta testing as we go, 
And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you do want to check out the live show, let me get the times for that. Yep, there we go. Yeah, we do this every week. Sunday is 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Japan time, which translates into 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific standard time, now that it's standard time. Uh, Saturdays, 3 to 5 Pacific, 4 to 6 Mountain, 5 to 7 Central, 6 to 8 Eastern. If you're in the UK, it's 11 p.m. Saturday night until 1 a.m. Sunday morning. If you're in Japan with me, it's 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Sunday morning. If you're in Australia or New Zealand, it starts anywhere from about 8 a.m. to noon, depending on where you live. But we do always announce what we're doing through Twitter, so follow BTNGU B -T -N -G -U to keep track of when the live show starts or episodes go up, or follow us on Twitter or YouTube, or you can check us out at bluetango.com. Uh, look forward to another live update next week after we finish the show, but I hope you do drop by the live show because that's where we have the fun. Uh, you can actually see us as we kind of flounder around and find bugs and stuff like that. And chat. <laughs> that's that's the best place to kind of see what's going on. But I do want to have these updates for those of you who don't have time to watch the live show. So until next week, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. <laughs>